Hey everyone, Aaron here. Not sure about you, but I'm still recovering from an amazing week at Autodesk University. While I was there, I talked to a lot of users, new and seasoned, in an attempt to find you the best quick tips. The first comes from Dave Clark of Vox Amplification, a longtime Fusion 360 user and gallery contributor, including one of my favorites, Professor Pint, a printable pint glass modification for those with limited hand mobility. Anyway, we were talking about something we all use, sketches and extrudes, so I hope you enjoy. If you've been to one of my beginner's webinars, you'll know I often use models from the gallery like this amazing hand router wand made. The problem is that this model is just too perfect. There's not much for me to add, so I'll resort to removing features. So let's do that, and in the process I'll show you some tricks I learned. We'll start with the offset faces on the left and right. Removing those couldn't be easier with our sketch tools. That's because all I need to do is insert a sketch on the top face, and without even adding a single sketch line, I'm ready to extrude this. Why? Because the profiles of the face I selected to sketch on are automatically added to the sketch. That's awesome in cases like this, but the even better news is that I don't even need to add a sketch. As you'll see in the next example, I'll go straight into extruding, and by selecting that face, it gets the profile. But what about removing this text with the same method? When I try to do this, you'll see where I start to have problems. It'll extrude everything but the profiles of the text I'm trying to cut. Even if I sketch a rectangle there, I'd be forced to select each and every letter to cut away. To resolve this, my recommendation to you is this. Make an offset plane. By doing so, the face profiles don't enter into the equation, and everything would be able to be removed with one single sketch profile, and a simple one at that. But when I change this from join to cut, I get an error. No target body found. What's going on now is that because the faces I've selected as my two object ignores the area where the cut would actually be made, the text area, it's not finding anything to remove. The fix is easy though. All I need to do is ensure the chain faces is changed from the default to extend. This ensures the cut finds somewhere to end and geometry to remove. Anyway, I hope that helps. Have a good one. Cheers.